Well, we are here on the old farm. This is the house my husband grew up in. The old farm is abandoned now. Mom and Dad had to move out years ago. And this was the family homestead. It's where my husband's grandparents started out. And we have so many great memories of this place. Just, just so many great memories. Well, we had to stop in here on our way home from seeing our kids and grandkids in the city because somebody broke in again and my husband's trying to repair the door that they kicked in on the old shop and there's nothing left here for anybody to take nothing of value but you know when a place is unlived in, I guess people, bad people, just think they have the right to come on in, drive up to a place, kick a door in and root around and cause damage and it's a terrible thing. You know, it really hurts that, you know, this place we all loved still love. I love this place. I mean, I have such wonderful memories. It's a, it blows my mind that there's no respect anymore. That people can just go wherever they friggin' want and do whatever they want and to hell with the rest of us. Like, just destroy things, destroy property that isn't theirs, and, you know, like, it's not right. We used to cut wood, help cut wood, and it would get thrown, I can't talk yet, it would get thrown down the, into the basement through that window. Yeah, the old house is falling apart. But, uh, yeah, my, um, my kid's great-grandfather was born in this house, I, I believe. Oh, no, no, no. Let me rephrase that. My father-in-law was born in this house. Great-grandfather would have been his dad who built this house. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Oh, my thoughts are all jumbled. I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> it just makes me mad. This makes me so mad. You know, like, just leave this old place alone. To me, it's like a, it's a shrine. Like, you don't go and disrupt a shrine. You don't go and deface a shrine. This place is a holy place to me. I mean, generations grew up here lived and laughed here and loved here. You don't just waltz in and and wreck something like that. Whatever. I always say dolphins should rule the world because humans are effing it up. Whatever. It's still a beautiful place. So many memories. <laughs> oh, got stuck in this field once, skidooing. My husband said, whatever you do, don't stop. He was letting me drive. Whatever you do, don't stop the sled. What's the first thing I did? I stopped the sled, friggin' sinking into a chest deep snow. Boy, he was someone impressed with me that day. He got us out. He always does. He always makes it right. Yeah. Kids used to play on the bales. Bales used to be stacked there. And 
they'd play on the bales there. You wouldn't know it, but mom and dad had a meat shack here. Can't even tell it was ever here. <laughs> it's the way of old places, hey? Used to drive by places on the highway, go into the city, these old abandoned homesteads, and you'd think, what happened there? What happened? Well, what happened is people lived and raised their families there and then they died and people move out and then they fall to the ground and it's like they were never there. That swing set has some memories. <laughs> yeah, this used to be the garden. It still is. Um, my mother-in-law still comes out in the summer and puts in some potatoes and carrots and things, but I mean, it's a, it's a tiny garden compared to what it once was when I first met the family. And all the years they lived here, this garden was huge and so good. I mean, my mother-in-law could grow anything. It was amazing. She's amazing. She's still amazing. She's going to see my footprints all over this yard and think, what the heck? Who was wandering around out here? Well, it's just me, Mom. Don't be alarmed. I'm just making a video. Oh, I lost my mitten. Go back. Pick it up. There's the, the uh, wishing well Uncle made from Mother-in-law. She used to plant flowers in there. The old pump. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I still love coming out here. There's Dad's spruce tree. of our daughter holding a bunch of little kittens outside that doghouse. The buildings are starting to fall down now. The outbuildings. Yeah, there's nothing left here that anybody could want, so I just wish they'd leave it alone. Leave it in peace, not in pieces, right? Yeah, there's the chicken coop. Mom would always have baby chicks every spring. She'd raise them and sell the chickens. There's lots of old vehicles back here that are kind of cool. Chop pails still sitting on the fence post. This was the pig barn. <laughs> I'd always say, oh, it smells so bad. I hate the smell of pigs. And my father-in-law would say, that's the smell of money. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that old building was. Maybe, it, I don't think it was a barn. I know they used to have a big old wood barn, but it fell, well, it was taken down. And this was the new barn. I could ask my husband about that. I don't know. I remember lots of cows and helping with inoculations and stuff. That was always exciting. The big shoot. Glad we had videos made. Pass those on down to the kids. Of times like that. Bygone times. Anyways.
We don't come out here too often anymore. Just when something like this happens and we can come out and see how much damage was done. Mom and Dad lived out here for 50 plus years. Yeah. And we'd walk down the old road after suppers, family walks at Christmas. Everybody would lace up their boots and put on their toques and coats and mitts and scarves and ski pants. And we'd walk all the way down to the end of the road. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a walk right now. Just down the road. Why not, for old time's sake. hanging on the tree. I got to show you this. This is kind of cool. Look at that. How many years ago did the boys try and build a tree house up in that tree? <laughs> that was well before I showed up. Yeah. I always look for those ladder, the, the steps up on the tree that they put there. And this ditch used to fill up with water in the spring. It would just be running. <laughs> so cool. Just kind of sad. Oh, my battery's dying. I'm not going to be able to make it all the way to the end of the road, but it's okay because I'm kind of getting choked up anyways, so oh, I love this place. I've always loved this place. It always was a happy place for me. Anyways, until next time, take care, friends. Bye.